Hey everybody, Rebecca here. Just wanted to give you an update on my click and grow system. It's just doing fantastic. We're about 12 to 13 weeks in total time. And it came originally with basil and tomatoes and green lettuce were the original uh, pods that I did. And so the basil is still growing. It does great. We eat on it just about every day, pinch off some leaves and they, they come back. I've moved them around a little bit because this uh, pod all the way on the left um, gets the least amount of light. So ever so often I'll just move some around. Um, the tomatoes are fantastic. I cannot wait. We are so close to having some red tomatoes to go with our basil. And they are just loaded uh, with lots and lots of green tomatoes that are turning orange and then red soon. Uh, and it's gotten so heavy. And I'm sure it's very root bound. So I'm going to, um, after we start harvesting some of these red tomatoes, I'm going to be moving these to a regular pot. We're almost warm enough to where they can go outside. And I will likely do that with the basil too, just, just to see if we can keep that going through the summer. But in the meantime, I'm going to start using all of the uh, pods for different kinds of lettuces. So we have a romaine lettuce started and a green lettuce. And I have finally gotten some sprouts on, uh, they call it a bloody sorrel uh, lettuce. So we got a whole big variety pack of lettuces that we'll be able to try. This one, I believe, is a dud. It's the only dud I've ever had, but um, it was another bloody sorrel lettuce. So I'm just going to take that out and try a different one. Because this has been in here for several weeks and no activity in that particular pod. I think the company's pretty good about exchanging those for you, but um, I'm going to just take that out and try something different. But this has been so fun. The light turns on and off itself. We come in and check it every morning just to see how it's doing. Uh, I definitely need to add some more water and these, you know, the lettuce, uh, the uh, tomato leaves are not looking so great here just this week, but it, it definitely needs to go to a bigger pot or one of those pods that's got the uh, the holes in the bottom to let the roots expand but I think I'm just going to take those out and stick in some more lettuce so. in the meantime we're still doing experiments with microgreens these microgreens actually came from Dollar Tree I was really surprised that I saw some you know they've always got the seed packets but they had some microgreen seed packets so we're about a day overdue to harvest these we need to hurry up and um, cut those out and uh, start eating on those just we put them on salads and sandwiches um, just eat them raw. So my little Lego people are just still hanging out. I'm not doing a, uh, a time lapse this week. <laughs> Those have been a lot of fun. So check out my channel for the time lapse videos. But uh, microgreens are so fun. They grow in a week. Uh, no dirt. These are just laying on top of a paper towel. Um, they've got enough water to last the whole week. And I actually am reusing my hamama. Um, I'm reusing the Hamama uh, mat um, that is under the paper towel. And so I just reused that from a, a different one. Those Hamama ones grow fantastic. They're nice and clean and neat and foolproof. Um, but, but I'm real pleased. These Dollar Tree did well and they taste pretty good. Thanks for watching.